Good morning children. Today we shall learn what is a triangle. We already know when two lines meet they form a angle. So this is a angle. Now let us try to join these two open arms at this end by a third line or a third line segment. What happens? We get a closed figure which is three sided and it has three corners. It is called a triangle. So a triangle is a closed figure which is three sided and has three angles. So remember children three sided closed figure is called a triangle. Now let us try to make a triangle using this match sticks. We used three sticks and made this shape. Is it a triangle? Let us see. So one angle and two angle. Where is the third angle? We cannot get the third angle until and unless these two sides meet at a point to make the third angle. So what do we see? That this open figure is not a triangle because a triangle is a closed shape. So now we know a triangle is a three sided closed figure so it has three sides. Also a triangle has three corners or three vertices. So this, this and this are the three corners or the vertices of the triangle. Now let us name the three vertices of the triangle as A, B and C. So in this triangle A, B, C are the three vertices of the triangle. And how do we say this is a triangle? We can say this triangle is made by line segment AB, BC and CA. And how do we represent a triangle? We represent a triangle by the small symbol and we say this is triangle ABC. Now what are the angles in triangle ABC? If we consider these two arms or the line segments AB and BC then the angle made at the vertex B is called angle B. So we write here angle B and this is the symbol to represent angle. We can call angle B by other names too like angle A, B, C. We can also call it angle C, B, A. So remember here whichever angle we are talking about is always in the middle or in the center. So here B is in the center or in the middle and again B is in the center. So it represents angle B only. Now let us see another angle. This is line segment AC and line segment BC and the angle which is made at the vertex C is called angle C. We can call angle C by other names too like angle B C A or angle A C B. Again if you see C is written in the 
सेंटर ओनली बी सी ए और ए सी बी बोथ हैव सी इन द मिडल एंड इट रिप्रेजेंट एंगल सी ओनली लास्टली वी कम टू एंगल ए वाइट इज कॉल एंगल ए बिकॉज लाइन सेगमेंट ए बी एंड लाइन सेगमेंट ए सी मेक एन एंगल एट द वर्टेक्स ए एंड इट इज कॉल एंगल ए वी कैन कॉल एंगल ए ऑल्सो एज एंगल बी ए सी और एंगल सी ए बी अगेन इफ यू सी द ए इज रिटर्न इन मिडल सो इट रिप्रेजेंट्स एंगल ए ओनली इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सो वॉट डू वी लर्न वी सी देर आर थ्री एंगल्स इन अ ट्राइंगल एंगल ए एंगल बी एंगल सी सो द थ्री एंगल्स आर एंगल ए एंगल बी एंड एंगल सी इन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी now here we have triangle a b c and this is point n this is point m and this is point o where do all these points lie with reference to triangle a b c but first let us see what is triangle a b c you know triangle abc just refers to the boundary of the figure so the boundary of the figure is called triangle abc now what is the interior region this is the interior region meaning the region within the boundary of the triangle is called the interior region of the triangle and what is the triangular region it is the interior region along with the boundary so remember the interior region along with the boundary is called the triangular region now that we know the different regions we can find the location of point easily here the location of point n is exterior of triangle abc as it lies on the outside of the triangle what about point o it lies in the interior of the triangle abc as it is in the interior region of triangle abc now what is the location of point m point m lies on the boundary of the triangle abc or we can say it lies on the triangle abc so now you can find the location of any point with reference to the triangle so now we know a triangle is a three sided closed figure which has three angles hence it is called a triangle that's all for now bye bye children